It might not be in a pint can, but this Arbor Sea Bomb is the first time I've seen Arbor Ales in a supermarket. And this one is from Sainsbury's for just three quid. But what's it going to be like? And can Sainsbury's compete with the likes of Tesco, Morrison's, and even Asda now with this Sea Bomb? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this Sea Bomb by Arbor. It's obviously a C, C being standing for Citra. It's a Citra Pale Ale. Comes in at 4.7% in a 440ml can. It's funny, you hold these Arbor cans and because I'm used to the pint cans, they just look incy wincy incy wincy tiny um but it's obviously still a 440 apparently the reason why that uh sainsbury's where this is now available um why they're in 440 mil because obviously they can't stack the shells with the 568 mil pint cans uh so that's a shame but sea bomb i've heard good things about it i think it's been kicking around um a while this one actually has got the date this uh the date printed on it so that's the 29th of the 10th 21 so it's pretty damn fresh i don't know when it was canned but i would say that that's uh, a pretty new brew um, of beer especially probably for sainsbury's hence the being in this can it's in this lovely sort of almost fluorescent green can but I've whittled on enough. Let's get this beer open and into a glass. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one because I love our brows. I've had, we've had a few recently on the channel and then suddenly when I see this one in Sainsbury's, I get quite excited. And it's one that actually I wanted to, wanted to try. I suppose, as I said, the disappointment is being, is drinking a beer, which is, uh, which I know I can get in a, in a big pint can. But beer in a glass, it's very, uh, very, very orangey, very hazy, very orange. It's almost, it's almost got to that point where it's sort of slightly getting towards a sort of copper colour in terms of it. it's a very deep orange. Two fingers, white fluffy head, and already I can smell those big citra sort of aromas. So I'm getting huge amounts of lemons and limes, grapefruit in there. Yeah, it smells really fresh. And I'm I'm starting to become a massive fan of Citra. You know, as much as it's in nearly it's in nearly every beer that we have, really, to be honest, be honest. It's much I much prefer the sort of characteristics than say it's you know its usual sort of partner in crime uh, mosaic. Um so yeah, as I said, nice and fresh, big punchy citrus aromas. Let's get this debt one down. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, a little bit. Obviously, it's a palau. It's quite carbonated. There's quite a lot of fizziness going on in the mouth. Big swales of lemons and limes. A real big, I mean, citra hop. The clue's in the name, citrus, citrus. Big citrus flavours. Certainly lemons and limes and also grapefruit. The grapefruit is in there, but it's almost, it's almost in, in, in and amongst the first lemons and limes that you taste. You know, when we when you get a more complex sort of IPA, usually you get those big sort of fresh or maybe tropical sort of aromas up front, and then on the back end you get a little bit of grapefruit bitterness. But it almost like it comes through in pretty close proximity to each other. Big lemon, big lime, big grapefruit. So it's a nice beer. I suppose if anything's held holding it back. It's a little bit fizzy, but I think if you're the sort of person, I mean, certainly in terms of supermarkets, if you're getting into craft beer and you try this, first things first, you're going to look at it and you're going to pour it out and go, oh, that's a bit different than I, mean, you know, I normally would expect. Um, very orangey and hazy, but it's got that sort of carbonation and, and lightness that you would expect with a lager, but there's a lot more citrus fruits that are coming through. And I think actually... It looks pretty damn good in a glass. It's light, it's refreshing. There's very little in the way of bitterness. All the sort of fruits are very sort of crisp and, and light tasting. There's not stone fruit, there's not overly dankness, there's no sort of real, you could say there's a slight floral flavour, especially if you're new to craft beer, that's probably something that you may pick up. I'm, I've been drinking a lot of craft beer in the last year, so 
those sort of initial sort of sort of bit hop forward or flowery sort of flavors i'm so used to now that it becomes the norm but it's a really pleasant beer and i think in terms of an example of a citra palau it's got it's got all the ingredients that you want i'm just trying to get my head around the body a bit because actually in a glass when you look at it it looks you know it, it looks like it's got a medium sort of body but there is a little bit of carbonation it's what i would typically expect with a parallel i mean we've had some parallels recently they're almost more like new england ipas the carbonation is very soft this is a little bit more prickly but i think it helps those citrus flavors sort of just zing around your your, your mouth to make it better it's a good beer so Sea Bomb by Arbor. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have had this before because it's been available for a while. Uh, but this is rebrewed and it's in supermarkets. So if you haven't had it before, I would go and get it because it's a it's a great beer. Three quid as well. Not bad. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Arbor Ale's Sea Bomb. And this is a Citra Palau available from Sainsbury's for just three quid as part of their new craft beer range. Uh, lovely looking can. I mean, it's quite, the, the cans are all pretty similar uh, with this sort of um, maple leaf, I suppose. That's a maple leaf um, on it. And, um, but with the really nice bright colours. I mean, it's really bright fluorescent green, this can. Looks pretty good. So let's start with the aromas. Well, for a Palau, there's plenty of those sort of aromas that you would expect from something that's using citra hops. Big citra sort of aromas, lemons, limes, grapefruit in there. That's about it. Really nice though, and very inviting. So I'm giving it a 13 for aroma. Appearance wise, well, although we've lost the head a little bit, I'm quite surprised actually how orangey and, and sort of, it's almost like a dark orange, getting to a point where it's almost getting to a, a coppery sort of colour in terms of its 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 its, it's orangeness really. It's much more orangey than you would normally expect from a citra. But I think it looks pretty good. And if you've never, if you're just trying to get into craft beer and you have that, you think, oh, that's quite interesting. Very, very hazy. I'm giving it a nine for appearance. Flavour-wise, well, it's very typical of beers using citra hops. It's a parallel, so it's a bit lighter and the carbonation is a bit higher as well it's um but it helps get those sort of lemon lime and grapefruit flavors around the mouth pretty quickly and, and those flavors do come almost in one big wave really lemons limes grapefruit there's no sort of lingering citrus big lemon and lime citrus on the front end and then you get this nice sort of sort of grapefruit sharpness and bitterness on the back end it, it, it all comes through in one big wave um it's it's a very solid parallel and uh, and I think it's worthy of a 31 for flavour. Value for money. Well, it's a shame that the Arbor normal cans, if this was in a, it would be much better value for money if it was three quid and it was um, in a five, six, eight, five, six, eight mil can, which they're normally in. But this is a 440 mil can, still three quid though. It's a very solid beer for three quid, and it's in line with, you know, the beers from Tesco as well, and Morrison's in terms of that three quid price point. So I'm giving it a solid eight for value. And then my overall experience, well, it's nice to have, this is a very drinkable, you know, easy to drink sort of beer. You're getting what you expect. It's a, it's a sea bomb of citrus flavours, lemons and limes and grapefruits. It's... There's nothing overly remarkable about it or exciting, but it just does it well. If you like citra hops, then you'd love this beer because it's it's what citra is all about. It'd be nice if it was a bit softer on the mouth feel, but it's a pale ale, so I'll, I'll give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt for that. If you don't like citra hops, you won't like it because it is very citra forwards. Um, so I'm giving it 14 for overall experience. So I think it's a really good citra pale ale. You know, it's... Um, it's not up there with some of those great Citra IPAs we've had. You know, even just recently when we've had the, the Queer Brewing one, part of the Cloud Water box, that, that was a good Citra IPA. And even the uh, and the Buxton Brewery Citra IPA, again, very good as well. Um, it's not up there, but it is a parallel. So it, it doesn't quite have that sort of softness and, and mouthfeel of those. 
but 14 for overall for, for this one. And totting all those scores up, we get 76. It's a, you know, a recommended beer. Certainly the fact that you can buy this from supermarkets now for eight, for three quid, give it a try. I mean, there's a lot worse beers out there and it's, and it's probably without, apart from the alpaca, which I have had, although never reviewed on the channel, uh, from salt in Sainsbury's, it's probably one of the best beers you can buy in Sainsbury's. Well, out of the ones I've tried so far, we've still got quite a few of those new ones to try. But this is a solid beer, worthy of a recommendation. So it's a white snake beer, so I'm going to slide it in slow and easy. And until the next one, keep on rocking.